Hello everyone, I am Duke James. This is Hungary 3.0. So I did that bureaucrat thing in the last part. So our corruption, our provincial corruption is dropping by 6.5%. So that should theoretically wipe out the state corruption. Should, I assume it'll come back. If it doesn't, then that's great. Alright, we're looting Prague. Or we're attempting to loot Prague. Oof. I was moving these troops off. Um, there we go. Okay, we can get out. Bohemia does have 10,000 troops. I think if they attacked over here... We could withstand that. They're actually moving this way. Probably take the war goal. Nope. Alright, we should be good then. Alright, Siege of Prague lasted 100 days. Alright, so I'm absolutely going to loot this province for cash, but then also because... I, I am going to take this province eventually, but it's going to be hard to take a 72 development province, so... I can loot them now. It's I'm probably not going to take it for a while, and then uh, I'll end up weakening the Bohemians. Bohemia. And then I'll get a... should get a major influx of cash, just because there's... There's a lot of people here. I imagine there's a lot of... Uh, money in this province. Look at that glass industry size, 311. And the glass industry in Poland is actually pretty profitable and it's like one-third that size. Where is it? Glass. It's actually 15. The size is 15 in Krakow, but uh, its profitability is 200%, so I imagine that's very profitable in Prague. And they also make beer. That's a huge industry right there. Processed materials is huge. Commerce is huge. We have 858 ducats. Loot them and we get 2,000 ducats. We just looted 1,200 ducats from this province. If we looted 1,200, that means our troops just got a lot more. That is, uh, it's kind of insane. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with this war. Should give me a little bit more ducats. Yep, they give me 100 more ducats from their treasury. What I'm going to do, though, is... Moldavia is allied with Rome. So I can't attack them directly. And Lithuania allied with Poland again, which I assume they would. So I can attack Moldavia. Rome won't join in because they're fighting a war with me. So I think they should break their alliance then. So I can attack Moldavia. Conquer most, if not all, of Moldavia and have Lithuania break their alliance with Poland. And then once the truce with Poland ends, I'll go up there and fight them. So let's go ahead and attack Moldavia. They're still allied with Rome. So if I end this war, I'm pretty sure Rome would answer the call to join Moldavia. So I wonder... I have a truce with them. I was thinking maybe attack someone else. 
to get Roman, but then I don't think they would actually join. If I end up fighting Rome. It is what it is. Move my troops up this way to get to Moldavia. They want to siege Prague, that's fine. Actually, I move my troops here. If I end up fighting Rome, I can kill their troops. So let's actually piece these guys out. They'll give us a little bit extra ducats, so they cede three provinces to us. They revoke their core. Or their claim on... Yeah, that should be their core. They give us 10% war reps, 250 ducats. I core those three provinces. Yep, and then Rome answered the call, so that's unfortunate. Bohemia still likes us, actually, which is weird. And uh, hopefully I don't have... Uh... So I'm conquering pretty quickly. But if I attack Poland, I might not be able to take much, especially not Sandomiras, which has 25 development. So I'll see what I get from uh, Moldavia. Grab this province. Maybe Rome will peace out. No, nope. close. They're black flagged right now, so. I'll take off some troops from this siege so we don't get totally attritioned. I really don't want to fight Rome as well. They're going to get their troops and start sieging down here. Rome, just peace me out. We're allies. I helped you. I built you up. I wonder if I move these troops up here, would that cause the, these guys to... Oh, okay. We're good anyway. Alright. They should run, actually. This is a pretty good province, so I want to save this province. If I can get there, hopefully they don't uh, win that siege with 21%. Alright, yeah, they got stack wiped. And Rome is down here. Come on, Rome. Rome. You trust me totally. Look at this. Our trust dropped down to 59. And we lost all of our favors. You immediately lose your favors. Okay. Ouch. Alright, I'm not actually sure. I want to force Lithuania. Be nice to force Lithuania. Yeah, be nice to force Lithuania to break their alliance with Poland. I'm pretty sure I'd have to take territory from them. I 
These guys are coming up here. Where are they going now? Alright, I'll let them get locked. Are they both locked? Should be. And wipe them. Okay, I have a five maneuver general. I'm gonna come down here, take out Rome's troops. Wow, Rome has a lot of troops now. Rome, where were those troops in the last war? I see you build, you build fifteen thousand troops for uh, for Moldavia, but you build five thousand for me. I see how it is. And now they run. They run like cowards. You wanted this room. That stack wipe is on you. Now we gotta swing up north. Don't have a whole lot of manpower. I might not be able to uh, get them to break. Just because I don't have a whole lot of manpower left, and I'm pretty sure I'd have to get to Lithuania's capital. The good news is, I think we actually make money from property income now. We make a little bit of money from property income, so it's not negative anymore. The corruption actually uh, increased. Okay, state corruption increased by a percent. Weird. Alright, this province is wooded highlands. I'll wait till they leave. I think it's actually not that bad if Lithuania, if I attack Poland and Lithuania joins in. Because they joined in last time and I was still able to take provinces from them. The only problem is my border is going to be really long. Okay, this guy's a three siege. I'm going to flank around, attack these guys on here. I have 99 army tradition. Also, I was looking, my f naval force limit's three, but I'm pretty sure it should be seven, if I can do math correctly, because this is, this is more than three. So I'm not sure what's up there, but uh, it should be seven, but I just sold all my ships, because it's like, they're not really doing much and they cost a lot. Three ships isn't gonna win me any wars against naval powers. All right. They have so many troops. What provinces can I actually take without a coalition? I 
Okay, I think I would do this. Nobody could take that province because it would be surrounded by us. And they would actually accept that, so... I'm only going to stay in this insofar as to get Lithuania to break their alliance. Which I think would actually take a lot. I'm going to come over here and try to siege down this province. Actually, they're going to take my province over here. Nope, they're running. I don't even have to get anywhere close to the province and they just start running. They just know I'm coming. I'm actually try to siege down this province. Because fort defense is 16%. That should be a quick siege, actually. I have no manpower left, so it's really this or, or nothing. In regards to Lithuania. Alright, that was uh, nowhere enough. Yeah, I have to actually take their provinces. So, they can keep their alliance. I'll just fight Lithuania with Poland. And I should... They should, really shouldn't matter that much. Because they didn't last time. I'm going to have them break their alliance. Now they won't accept it. Okay. That's because they built up a bunch of troops. They're traveling to here. Now they won't accept it because I lost the fort. Should be able to get down there quickly. These troops leave. Grab this fort. And then see if they would accept. It is their capital, so hopefully that's enough. Lithuania just wants to wait peace. Alright, I'll accept that. Actually. Yeah, I'll just accept that. Uh, Alright, that's perfect. We get two extra merchants. All right, let's uh, pop these merchants. I'm gonna throw one in the Baltic node. All 
And uh, I kind of want to keep going. Actually, I can't go over here because I don't own... I don't own any provinces in the Rhineland or the West Mediterranean. I don't own any provinces here. So I can't go to the West Mediterranean. I do own provinces in the Black Sea. I own provinces in this province, so I can go up here, I can go up here. I'll put the other guy in the Black Sea. Just need to take this province, I think. Alright, this is actually a pretty good province. Because it has... It has 32,000 residents in this province, 7 urban developments, so there's actually no industries. None of the industries, there's no higher education, so I'm going to go ahead and put higher education in that province. Or higher learning, it's called. That one, and then I'm going to do luxury cloth as well, which needs five urban development to do. Higher learning needs 10,000 residents, so both of those industries are now in this province. I think it also has coal. Yeah, there's also coal, but that's not opened up either, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a coal industry. And I'm going to go ahead and put 10 ducats into that industry to kickstart it. I think I've already done the other provinces. Krakow. Yeah, Krakow didn't have a higher education, so I put that in there. It also didn't have a luxury cloth, so I put that in there as well. Ninety-nine percent Castile declared war on Granada. That's all right. Enforced military access. Can I combine this option with enforced military access? I don't think I enforced military access. I'm going to, uh, might as well enforce my religion. One more score for five prestige. And then... I'd rather get these provinces without looting them, so... Just give me more reps. It's not going to be much, but that's fine. And however many ducats. That's good. I need to uh, replenish my manpower. Core those territories, and then... Uh, yeah, we're expanding. We looted 5,539 ducats in those two wars, 1,300 of which went directly into the treasury. We lost 500 rural pups, and then military casualties. Apparently we lost only 7,000, which, considering our manpower is zero, I don't think it was that low. Hey, Pest, okay, Pest is now, we got those two merchants because Pest is a dominant center of trade. Pest is also building a capital. Pest has amenities rank, or it caps, their amenities caps at 30,000 pops, so there's actually 38,000 here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to build amenities here. It's actually clear of the uh, provinces because I had this one selected as well. Go to construct buildings, raise amenities by rank 1. Actually, like, improve two ranks. So, improve to rank three. 
200 ducats. I'll do that. That's pretty cheap, actually. So we should be building a capital N amenities at the same time and pests. I think I'm going to look and build some irrigation because there's a there's a plane here which produces a lot of food and I think I think we're low on food so I'm going to go ahead and look at provinces to build irrigation which increases crop and fiber output in provinces where that's built so to try and get some more food probably also invest in the farmlands themselves but also thinking about doing irrigation as well because I think most of these provinces are actually negative food profitability so it's probably better just to build irrigation to boost the total output that also help them become profitable there we go conduct census actually let's look population 5.8 million we have 560,000 residents not a whole lot of burgers only 27,000 All right, yeah, we produce 1,066 units of food, but we consume 1,142. So we do have a food deficit. We're good on salt, good on fiber, good on fuel, good on raw materials, exotic goods, not good. I think for that, when the colonization starts, I can try to go this way. I think once that starts, I'll the goods will just naturally flow over here, but I think right now I could try to go this way. I do have a merchant in Egypt, so I should be, just because we don't produce those goods, we should be getting them through trade from Egypt. In order for us to actually produce those goods ourselves, I'm pretty sure I'd have to go and conquer provinces from the Oceania area. Those uh, spice producers were negative on consumer goods. Military's good, naval's good, industrial is good. There's a small deficit, less than one. Luxury goods. I could improve luxury goods. I think that's a lot of that is game, and then like luxury cloth and stuff, which I keep up on. Or I try to keep on. Try to keep up on knowledge. We have a surplus there. All right, yeah, so I'm going to look and see what uh, what provinces in this area, because that's where the farm lines are, would be good for farms, for irrigation, and then uh, pretty much replenish my manpower and go from there. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.